Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you a game called Bazaar. This game comes from the 3M Bookshelf Company. It was created in 1968 by Sid Saxon, of all people, and it is for 2 to 6 players. Now, Bazaar is what is called a trading game, and what you're going to be doing in this game is you're going to be trading different colored coins and trying to exchange them for what are called wares. What you're going to try to do is you're going to try to score the most amount of points from the wares that you buy before the bazaar closes. Um, there's a lot of different color combinations that you're going to be trying to use in order to get these certain wares. Uh, let me go ahead and show you how this game works. Okay everybody, welcome to the bazaar. I'm going to go ahead and show you the components really quick. Uh, to begin with, these are the wear cards that you're going to be trying to buy. Um, as you can see, there are five different uh, dots on here and each of them have a different color on them. There are five different colors that you're going to be uh, trying to get in order to buy these things. The next thing you have here are your uh, coins here that you're going to be using to trade in for these cards. So for example, one yellow, one red, one green, one blue, and one white will allow you to buy this card. And you're going to be uh, keeping score um, on this game with this little thing. It has a unique scoring system and I'll uh, show you how that works. This here is your color die. It has all of the five colors and plus a uh, thing here that says choice which will allow you to choose any one of the colors that are uh, in the market over here. These are your rate cards over here and there's several different ones of these. Um, you're going to pick two of these to put in these slots over here. The rate cards will basically show you uh, how you can exchange um, the different coins. So for example, you can trade in a white coin to get a red coin and a yellow coin. You can trade in two blue coins to get a green coin and a white coin, etc. And there's several uh, different ones of these. And again, you're just going to pick any two and place them over here. So I went ahead and I picked two, and I'm going to go ahead and just use these two right here. Now there's four different slots right here, and what you're going to do is you're going to put five of these cards in each of these four slots. You can put more if you want to, but the instructions say to pick five, so I'll go ahead and I'll do that. Okay, now um, some of these cards will have a star on here. The star cards are worth more points if you can get them, but the combinations are a little bit harder to get. So what you do um, on your turn is you have a couple of choices. You can either roll the die and uh, pick up the uh, color coin that shows up or you can go ahead and uh, trade any of the coins that you have using this chart over here so I don't have any coins right now so let's just say I go ahead and roll and I roll a yellow so I'll go ahead and be able to pick up a yellow so my opponent rolls he rolls a green so he will go ahead and pick up a green now since I have a yellow I can go ahead and make a choice I can roll again or if I want to, I can go ahead and use this yellow coin and get a blue and a red. Now, let's say I'm focusing on this card. This card has a red and a blue dot on it already. So this might be a good idea to go ahead and try to uh, get that. So I'll go ahead and trade and get the blue and the green coin. So now my opponent goes, and my opponent has some choices too. He can trade this coin in if he decides to and try to get, uh, say, these three or these two. Or he can go ahead and roll and try to see if maybe he can uh, up his possibilities. So he rolls and he rolls a yellow. So now let's say it goes back to me. Now I have a green and a blue. And uh, if I want, I can go ahead and trade a blue to get the two whites and this. Which, uh, this might be a good trade because I could actually try to get this. So let's say on my turn I decide to do that. And I will go ahead and get two whites and the green. So let's say my opponent decides to go ahead and go, and he looks, and he decides, let's say my opponent decides to go ahead and roll, he rolls, and he gets a white. So now I'm going to go ahead and look at what I can do here, and I'm going to go ahead and roll myself, and I have a choice that showed up. So now I can go ahead and uh, pick this up, and now all I need is just one more uh, white in order to uh, get my combination. So now my opponent goes ahead and looks, and he's looking at what he can do, uh, he can trade in a green to get a yellow and a white, or uh, he can trade in the yellow to get these two. I'll go ahead and do that just for the sake of doing it here. And now it goes back to me. So now I look and I have this green token here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trade this green token in for these two, the yellow and the white. And now I've gone ahead and I've gotten this. So what I will do is I will trade all of these in like so. And I'll go ahead and pick this card up, and this will go into my hand. And so basically what's going to happen throughout the game is you're going to be uh, just picking up these tokens, trading these tokens, and trying to buy these wares. And the game is going to end once two of these slots are empty. 
Once that happens, the bazaar is going to go ahead and close, and then you're going to go ahead and score your points. Now, the scoring system on here is a little bit unique. If you end up having three or more tokens in your hand, you're going to score one point, and you're going to follow this chart over here to score the rest of your points. Uh, if you have two, you'll get two points, etc. Now, what happens is when this game ends, any cards, all these cards are going to get an extra star. So any cards that have no stars are going to count as one star. These are going to count as two stars. Um, that's the unique part of this game. And then you're just going to simply uh, count up the amount of cards that you have that have one star and two star, add them up, and then that's going to be your final number. And again, you're going to follow your how many tokens remaining you had, and we'll just simply go on the row that it corresponds to and use that to score your points. And whoever has the most amount of points will win the game. What are my thoughts on this game? Well, I'm a big fan of the 3M bookshelf games. Uh, so many of these games are really cool. I would give this game a 6 out of 10. Um, this game is really easy to learn, and it's one of those games that, um, kind of like Othello, it's like one of those games that's easy to learn but quote-unquote difficult to master. I haven't quite got the part where it's difficult to master yet, um, but from what I understand, um, more advanced players are going to look at the color charts and try to figure out ways to get the wares quicker by trading in different coins. Me, I just kind of look at the color charts and just see, okay, I need to get this color combination, this color combination. More difficult players might actually look at it more to try to do that, but I don't particularly do that. Uh, my wife and I enjoy this game, and uh, I think this is one of the better 3M games out there. I give this game a thumbs up. Uh, I would definitely pick this one up if you see this at a thrift store somewhere. This game usually sells for about $20 on eBay. Um, so anyway, that's my review. Y'all have a great day. God bless. We'll see you soon.